Hello there, healthy glow must be one of the most used makeup phrases on my channel. It's all about that hydrated, dewy, glowy, fresh skin style that makes you look like you've had plenty of sleep, haven't touched a hot chip in years, and haven't been inside for the past 12 months. There are plenty of different ways you can achieve a glow, so I thought I'd break down some of the key steps and categories I put together, or you could just pick a couple to focus on. Moisturizer, a glowy base product, skin tint or foundation, concealer, blush, highlighter, and eyeshadow. Everyone's definition of a healthy glow and how to get there is going to be different, but for me, there's a strong skin focus. That doesn't mean flawless skin, that's not true for any of us, just that freshly moisturized, hydrated skin that catches the light instead of looking dry or flat. You could buy every foundation with glow in the title, but your skincare routine and proper skin prep before makeup is going to be far more effective to achieve a natural lit from within glow. Cream products are also essentials for me. They work so well on young skin, mature skin, dry skin, because they just look like they're part of your skin. They're not going to sit on the surface and emphasize texture like powders can. When you blend a cream highlighter or blush in, it looks like your skin. I do like playing with glitter on my eyes sometimes, but tend to steer clear when it comes to my skin. So this video concentrates on products with very subtle shimmer, a sheen, a balmy, dewy finish, a radiant look, Look, not greasy or shiny, just glowing. This video is part of my ongoing partnership with By Terry as their Australian ambassador, so part of this video is in paid partnership with the brand. I still cannot believe I get to work with them. Some of their products are absolute essentials in my healthy glow routine, regulars will know that, but there are a few great new glowy products to explore too. Let's get started with moisturizer and SPF to create a hydrated base. These are some of my favorites to give your skin a sheen and glow in the light. By Terry launched a new moisturizer in February, but I was lucky enough to test it a bit earlier. The Hyaluronic Global Face Cream has been the best bit of my morning routine since then. In fact, big skincare statement, it's my new favorite morning moisturizer. You can see how much I've enjoyed it. I've already got a backup ready. This is a gel cream that feels so light and juicy and creates such a smooth, soft base for makeup. It's packed with eight hyaluronic acids, niacinamide and squalane to help maintain hydration. And I do notice that my dry skin doesn't start to feel tight or dry as the day goes on. It's been so popular, sold out quickly, but you can sign up to be notified when it's back on byterry.com very soon. And it recently launched at Mecca in Australia. Another French brand famous for creating a glow is Embryolis and their Lay Creme Concentré. This milky moisturizer is a French pharmacy staple and a beauty industry icon. You'll find it in the kit of most big makeup artists because it preps and primes the skin so well. It's not specifically a primer, it is a moisturizer, but it creates such a smooth, glowy canvas. This is sort of the great grandmother of Glossier Priming Moisturizer, another great lightweight, glowy fluid moisturizer, but this one has more oomph bit of a thicker texture, more medium weight for supple, soft skin. Sunscreen should be your last skincare step every morning, and SPF doesn't have to be a chalky, matte experience. Ultraviolet's Queen Screen SPF 50 is called a luminizing sun serum, and it's such a glow giver. It's so lightweight and sinks in nicely, so the three full droppers you need to protect your face and neck properly don't feel heavy. This is one of my favorite Aussie brands, and they recently launched in the UK at Space NK, including shipping to Europe, so it's been so exciting to see so many of you trying the brand for the first time, and experts like Caroline Hirons raving about them. Time for one of the key steps in any glowy look, a glowy base product. That's my not so creative description for products that aren't about coverage, they're glowy and sheer and boost any other complexion product you're gonna use. You can wear them alone, all over the face, under makeup, mixed into makeup, or as a highlighter. My all-time favorite glowy base product and one of my all-time favorite products full stop is By Terry's Brightening CC Serum. Regulars must know this rave review off by heart by now. I've been obsessed with this formula for the past two years. Not only does this give your skin such a radiant glow, but it has a slight blurring and smoothing effect so your skin seems slightly perfected like a filter. I rotate between every shade. They all create a beautiful luminous look, but each color does have a slightly different purpose. Number one, immaculate light helps to control redness or reduce blotchiness. Number two, Rose Elixir adds a hint of pink to illuminate ashy looking skin. 
Number three, Apricot Glow is a bit warmer, so it revives dull complexions. And number four, Sunny Flash, my favorite, is a buildable bronze tone that warms up the face. I usually mix half a pump of Sunny Flash or a full pump of the other shades in with my base makeup before I apply it and always notice such a difference in the overall look of my skin. A consistent glowy base product in my bathroom for the past six years or so has been the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. This is described as a whisper light fluid. It's water-based, so it's thin and easy to blend across bare skin or into another complexion product. It's not shimmery, but it has reflective pearls that give you that glow. It also comes in a deeper bronze shade for a warmer effect, a bit like by Terry Sunny Flash. The very first glowy base product I ever bought in 2013 was a mini Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer. I'd heard about it through Tanya Burr, I think. The modern day Laura Mercier equivalent is the Pure Canvas Primer in Illuminating. They have a few different versions. This is a touch thicker than the other two products I shared. It's a bit more creamy, but it has a similar smoothing, brightening effect to give dull skin a boost thanks to tiny pearl particles that reflect the light. Moving on to complexion products. I always like to see my skin through my makeup and add more coverage where I need it by pinpoint concealing, so I love complexion products with a bit of tint and a lot of glow. Enter Trini London's BFF Cream. This was one of my 2020 favorites and it could almost be in the glowy base product category because it's so radiant, but it does have a touch of tint to it. It starts out gray, but transforms to match your skin, evening out your skin tone a bit and toning down any redness. Very, very sheer, so the emphasis is on the glow. Another firm favorite in the your skin but better category is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. You can go back and hear more on this in a Le Beige review and it was in my 2019 favorites. It has such light coverage, pigment micro droplets burst when you apply it so it's super sheer and subtle but it just evens out your complexion and creates a healthy effect. It's water-based so it feels quite cool and fresh on the skin. It comes with a little brush but I prefer to work it in with my fingers. If you're after more coverage or still want to keep things light, the Gucci Beauty Natural Finish Fluid Foundation can do both. I'm not usually a foundation person, but this is an incredibly lightweight fluid in 40 shades that you can easily sheer out to slightly perfect the skin or build to what the brand calls subtle full coverage. It's skin-like and not quite as glowy as the previous two, but as I mentioned, never expect a foundation to do the heavy lifting. Your skincare and a glowy base product will help you get there. Bring in the brightening concealers. I save my creamy full coverage concealers for spot concealing and prefer lighter textures to brighten under the eyes. One of my longtime favorites is Chanel Eclat Lumiere. This has been my go-to click up brush pen for brightening under my eyes for many years. It's similar to YSL Touche Eclat, the classic brightening concealer often found in celebrity makeup bags. It's such a famous product, but I actually prefer this one because it's a tiny bit thinner and more lightweight. So easy to blend and it never looks heavy or cakey under the eyes, which makes a big difference if you're trying to keep a look quite natural. A more recent arrival in this category is By Terry's Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. The founder of By Terry, Terry de Gunsberg, was actually responsible for creating YSL Touche Eclat, so she knows what she's doing. This formula is 87% skincare based and the key ingredient, hyaluronic acid, locks in moisture and blurs the skin. It's a much larger pen than I expected, but I love the big brush tip and I actually treat it as an all over skin fix sometimes because it has a touch more coverage. Quite a lot of product comes out with a full click, so I only press down a little bit, add small dots under each eye, spread any excess around my nose or chin, and use the brush to blend. Another recent arrival in my concealer pile is the Trini London BFFI Serum Concealer. This has been around for a couple of years and used to come in a pot, but they relaunched it in January this year in a tube with a cooling metal tip applicator. It's described as an eye serum meets concealer. Lightweight, nice and glowy, skin-like. Just dot the product under your eyes, then tap with your ring finger to blend. It's the weakest finger, so it's the most gentle. I was recently chatting to a beauty lover who says this is one of her favorite products of all time. Any chance to talk about cream blush, I'll take it. Nothing ties a glowy look together like a flush of dewy color on the cheeks. M Cosmetics Color Drops Serum Blush is the definition of a healthy glow. You can find two earlier rave reviews of this formula on my channel with lots of swatches and color comparisons. It is such a unique, thin, smooth, non-sticky texture with an incredible incredibly dewy, glowy finish. There's no glitter or shimmer, they just create such a hydrated sheen. I love so many of these sheer shades, but Rose Milk is a beauty for a petal soft, rosy cheek. If you want a lot more oomph with your blush color, bring in the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush. 
Again, you can find my earlier Rare Beauty review and a new video on the Stay Vulnerable collection is on the way, but this peachy shade Joy is one of my favourites from the brand. Unlike the other two blushes in this group, these are super pigmented, so I remove all of the excess and just dab on one to two dots and still get plenty of colour and glow. The Ciate London Dewy Blush had to be here, didn't it? Dewy is in the name. This is a glossy cheek tint in a gel balm formula. This one is super, super dewy, so it might not be your favourite if you have oilier skin, but the way to take the edge off any dewy product is to keep gently patting or tapping it into the skin to dull the finish slightly. Hello Cream Highlighter. More often than not, my moisturiser, glowy base and cream blush give me enough of a glow, but if you want even more, here are three ideas. The Chanel Balm Essentiel Multi-Use Glow Stick in Sculpting was one of the first products that came to mind. I think the key to a healthy glow highlighter is that it's actually quite subtle. The glow doesn't come from shimmer or glitter, but from the finish and a more pearly look. This is perfect for that. It comes in three shades, love them all, golden, a very sheer bronze, transparent, a completely clear balm, and sculpting here is not a sculpting or contouring product at all. It melts into the skin and gives you a pearlescent champagne glow. The Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balms come in five shades, so you can go for the exact highlight tone you're after, but they're still sheer, not intensely pigmented like many of her other products. The name Dew Wet Balm tells you everything you need to know. These give you a glossy, natural glow that mimics hydrated skin. Rose Water is called a sheer rose gold, and I'm always drawn to slightly pink toned highlighters like this. For an even more glossy glass skin look, the Gucci Beauty Eclat de Beauté Effet Lumière is a luminous multi-use gel gloss. This is a transparent cheek, lip and eye gloss with a smooth, non-sticky texture and such a high shine finish. Add the tiniest dab for a natural glow or go all out for an editorial style. The brilliant makeup artist Jo Baker recently applied a touch of this on Vanessa Kirby's eyes at this year's Oscars. Love the simplicity of a red lip and a glowy eye. Speaking of glowy eyes, by this point your skin looks amazing, your cheeks are flushed, your highlighter's on, so let's finish with a touch of shimmer to brighten up the eyes. If you caught my recent pink eyeshadow video, you'll be able to guess how much my eyes lit up when I saw this new Bobbi Brown Luxe Metal Rose palette. What a beautiful combination of blossom shades, gold, bronze and brown. There are four mattes, but I'm focusing on the four sparkling shades in a creamy gelée formula for intense shine. This feels much finer and smoother than a powder shimmer, so they glide on. Swipe them all over the eye or add a tiny bit in the center of the lid to catch the light. I featured the two glowy pink tones and the striking burgundy red in the By Terry VIP Expert palette Paris Mon Amour in that recent pink eyeshadow video, but there are more smooth metallics to discover in here. The shade with Paris written on it is almost a taupe colour in the pan, but it goes on as this striking deep champagne shimmer, so beautiful all over the lid. There's a glamorous gold shimmer if you want your shadow to remind you of summer days, and the deep brown bronze is so intense and smooth, but for this sort of look I like shearing it out for a softer bronze haze. Finishing with a new eyeshadow palette that couldn't give you more of a healthy glow vibe if it tried. Look at this incredible Dior Five Couleur palette called Mirage from their Summer June range, inspired by sandy plains and sun bleached landscapes. This is just a luminous, coppery, peachy, bronzed, golden dream. Apply a wash of any of these five subtle shimmers and you'll have eyes as enchanting as your glowing skin. How do you create a healthy glow? I'd love to hear the key products or steps in your routine when you're trying to brighten up your face. I hope this gave you some ideas of categories and textures to think about. Thank you to By Terry for working with me. You can find their gorgeous glowy products on byterry.com, at Mecca in Australia, and other international stockists on their website. I'll make sure I post on my Instagram story at Matilda on Video when the Global Face Cream is back in stock. Please let me know if you'd like me to focus on any glowy groups in more detail. I filmed a tinted moisturiser and glowy base video years ago, so it might be time for an update, and a dewy blush video is in the works for my Cream Blush Chronicles series, but please leave a comment below if you'd like to see more creamy highlighters, bronzers, or eyeshadow ideas in future. Thanks for watching, see you next time!